you are like the wow. <laughs> How old are you in the time? I'm 24. 24? Yeah. And what do you do? Um, Just hold wow. the mic. <laughs> yes. uh, um, I'm an HIV activist and I'm an inspirational speaker. So what I do right now is just speak about HIV because I'm HIV positive. And that's what I do right now. And I'm in school, but I'm going to go back next year. I stopped because of financial issues, but I'm going to go back next year. Mm. Yeah, that's what I do. And I'm a mother. And your mother? Yes, How my daughter's you? three. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Are you married? No, I'm not. I'm a Why? single mother. Well, I was engaged with the guy, and then things didn't work out, and we broke up. But he okay. supports his child. Oh, okay. Yes, he's there. Why TV presenting? Um, I love entertaining people, and, and I felt for me it's a platform to get out there because I'm, I'm fighting this HIV um, illness, whatever it is that you might call it. But I feel it's a platform, you know, and you need to start somewhere to get somewhere. So I felt this was a good platform to start and then make my way up to the top because my initial goal is to have my own talk show, but it's more for the youth. We do have talk shows, but I just want the young blood. We sit in a room and we talk and we actually get um, solutions. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> We're going to have more of a chat actually after this. My script oh. disappeared after that. <laughs> <laughs> We traveled throughout South Africa in search of a top DJ. It was a crazy 13 weeks. They came, they battled against each other, and only the cream de la cream have made it thus far. We are chair at the city grounds, and it was insane with thousands of fans anticipating the winner. I'm your host, Lebukhan, and we are crowning the top DJ winner today. If you couldn't make it out here, no worries, we got you covered. St stay tuned to Footprint Media TV, where it's all going down live. <laughs> It's so funny because we like to remember the important parts, I like, guess. Yes. yes. Take and them, make them your own. And then you belt out the whole script as it is. Okay. How do you feel about that? I didn't like it. You didn't? You know what? I'll tell you, we've seen far worse. And there are others that uh, literally had to beg us to put them through. Others who said no to, others who said yes to because they promised us they were going to do their best. Okay. So I think now this is your platform to plead. <laughs> so I was big. <laughs> Not well, necessarily big. I mean, um, if, if you were destined to do this, you don't need to big. You just well, have to I know it. I can do better, but I guess I, I tried to go through the strip because I was thinking I'm going to get you and probably pick what I'm comfortable in, and it didn't go that way. So I, I can do better. It's just that I, I don't think I'm an entertainer as such, like, you know, reality. But I'm more of a talk and straightforward, and, and soulful talk and stuff like that. But I can do better if given another chance. You know what I like about you? The thing is, I don't know, because I mean, my answer is already a yes. But I just feel like if you do make it through to the competition and how open you are about this, you are going to be an inspiration because you're actually the first young person that I meet who's so open about your status and yeah. to actually make the decision to become an activist. Yeah, it's and not an easy one. <laughs> it's not easy, not I know, because there's people yeah. I know who also have HIV and they would not, they would rather die before they, they actually But I've learned through this journey that the more I talk, the more other young people can actually talk. Like, I'm a, um, there's a short, like something happened, I was at the salon and this lady walked in, she was a bit sick. I was not saying she's HIV, but she was sick. So I asked the lady, like, what's wrong with her? and she didn't want to say anything, you know, until I said to the lady, are you okay? Because she looked very sick and she was like, no. And I'm like, what? Are you HIV positive? Because I'm also HIV positive. Mm. And the lady was doing my hair. like, please tell her that you won't die and everything like that. And after the whole day, there were about eight of us in the salon and about five people actually spoke out and said, you know what? I'm also HIV positive. Mm. So me actually saying something helps the next person to say it because everyone feels they're going to be judged, you know? And I always say... It's, it doesn't matter what people say. It's, it's about you because if you listen to what people say, you would die. They will stigmatize whether you're black, you're skinny, you're fat, and whatnot. So, yeah. Because this is an online reality TV show, and I love how real your story is. More real than anyone we've seen today, the day before yesterday. More real than. So, I, I, just, I just hope that on the presenting side, you will not disappoint us because... I want you to make it that far because I feel your story is going to inspire a lot of people. So we've got three yeses for the next round. Three yeses. <laughs> yes. So far for the next round, we've got divas, we've got <laughs> mad people, we've got, I don't know what, the quiet ones, we've got the reserved ones, and in you, I think we found a leader. 
and thank you very it. much so thanks a lot own it she just made my day and my weekend thanks a lot yeah. <laughs> well done thank okay. you very much thanks Let's for having soon. me